Hello and welcome to uh, Sons of Thule. <laughs> totally forgot what I called these guys here. Uh, we are uh, going to get started today uh, fairly quickly. Uh, but first, I want to go over a few things. Uh, I'm in Texas and there's currently some weather issues. So if I go out, I go out for probably the rest of the night. So uh, we'll see where that ends up. But uh, in between... I uh, did a lesson burn on Sunday, and I earned uh, 56 AAs, and somehow I got 24% into uh, 61 by just uh, by just uh, having it added at 90%. <laughs> so, yeah, and I found a pretty good place to go at 60, so that's going to be fun. That's where we're going to head off today. Hello, Stasis316. How are you? Glad to, glad you caught me live. The live streams are slightly different than the uh the youtube videos due to uh you know editing and whatnot so there, there is more downtime <laughs> uh so here we go so uh we have 56 aa points on all three characters to spend and i want to go ahead and uh, do that before we do anything so first things first i want to pick up improved bash six for the shadow knight which gives us a title uh, then, uh, let's see here. What, did I, what was the other one I wanted? I wanted to get, I think, Soul Abrasion. This will give us a better uh, uh, healing. Self-healing. Healing, that is. We're going to pick up Leech Touch. And we're going to hot key that. Uh, let's put it, like, right there. Let's move Harm Touch off that bar. And right there while we're here. All right. And then... What do we got? We have 41 left on this guy. Let's get Mystical Attuning right here. This will give us another buff slot. Uh, we are currently at the uh, <laughs> the uh, cap, I guess, for uh, buffs. And uh, let's grab another one of those just for now. Let's grab Mnemonic Retention. That'll give us another spell slot. And let's get combat fury this will give us the ability to do critical hits uh let's do critical hits with magic with this fury of magic and then that just gave us something i think it gave us a finishing blow here which will let us uh instantly kill pretty much anything under a certain percentage so that's kind of nice um but i don't want that i don't think yet um Let's put a point into Theft of Life. It's only one point, and it goes away just to kind of, you know, get get some of these things rolling. Um, Mental Clarity, uh, I think that'll be important because I am already having issues with mana. Uh, oh, there we go. That'll... Uh, let's wait on that. I'm not using pets very much, but I do want to get uh, combat and discipline. That gives us pet hold, so that gives us the option to actually use the pet. Uh, let's do destructive fury. That'll make our life taps, I think, hit a little harder. And all right, now we're gonna need the the meat <laughs> the meat and potatoes of this bit of the tanking. Uh, we're gonna get combat agility. Got another title. Uh, we're gonna get combat stability. Uh, we're going to grab uh, Natural Durability. Thanks for the follow, uh, Stasis316. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab... Combat Agility again. And we'll grab Combat Stability. And that leaves us one point left. And we're going to put that into Leech Touch. That'll give us uh, 12, 12 minutes less uh, on the timer, I guess. I think that's the best point, point to put this in. Hello, Wallace. How are you doing this evening? And we're going to keep uh, putting points into improved health on the Mercenary. Uh, so we can get... Improved health 9, which will allow us to do the uh, melee DPS perks. All right, so let's do uh, the Shaman real quick. Uh, let's do Can Purchase. So first is first, we're going to do Spirit Call. 
Uh, that'll give us a uh, a uh, new pet uh, new pet swarm we can use on him. Alt activate one seven seven. I think I could just do Alt Act. I think in a few days there. All right, so let's go and train. That is only four points, and that goes away. Rabid Bear is more melee focused, and I am just not going to be able to guarantee I can do that. So we're going to also pick up Companions Discipline, and then we're going to go over here, right-click the uh, pet little toolbar over here, and do Hold, and we're going to put the pet on Hold, and uh, we're going to do Pet G Hold also, or put him on G Hold. Now he won't attack unless we tell him to. Uh, we're going to pick up Mnemonic Retention on him also. We're going to grab Mental Clarity 1, 2, got a title, and 3, which will then unlock Cannibalization. We're going to grab that. Uh, going to hotkey this. Uh, we'll put it like right here. It's going to do a lot of damage to us. Uh, like. Is that rank one is 2000 hit points so we have enough hit points for that but that gave us another spell slot also let's see here we're gonna want quick buff oh spell casting mastery that's what i want right here we're gonna grab uh as many ranks as we can of that and then quick buff, I think. Yeah, I don't heal yet, and I'm I have dots, so I don't get the dot things to like a hundred. There we go. Um, what is this archetype? We have two points left. Uh, spellcasting reinforcements. I increase the duration of our spells. Let's go ahead and do what he I got going on right now. I'm glad you're doing all right. How is the weather there in Houston? I know Austin's pretty bad right now. Uh, let's grab, let's do reinforcement. I think that's just going to be the best bet. And he is using the healer mercs. So we're going to grab all those and then put the last one in mana. Let's see here, Stasis 316, getting back into EQ after retiring in 2017. This time I'll have my son duo with. I've been catching up with your YouTube videos, getting same storms here in Northeast Arkansas. <laughs> Hope the power stays on. Yeah, yeah, it seems like this whole uh, whole general area of uh, estates is, is uh, getting hit by tornadoes, blizzards, and rainstorms. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, all right, that is set on him. Now we just need to do the bard real quick. And I'm doing these like typically, right? You're playing on uh, playing on live. You you turn on auto grant, and you don't get this. You don't need. Really, there's no choice, right? You just get everything. Uh, so for for you know, this is kind of a. I, I get a lot of uh, questions on what AAs would I pick, and this is pretty much those AAs that I would pick. All right, so we are on a bard. Uh, scribble notes, we're going to grab that just because it'll make some things faster, but it's not really that important. Now, I don't really do much with her. <laughs> we're going to pick up Mnemonic Retention. She literally sings songs, and that's about it. So we're going to have to uh, kind of just look and see. Um, Burst of Power is really good. Fury of Magic, she's doing nothing with that. Uh, this might be helpful. Or not to, uh, mess up our spells. We'll do one of those. Let's go ahead and do, uh... Man, the bard one is just not as interesting as all the other choices. Let's do Combat Fury. So when she does melee, maybe she'll, uh... Do a crit? Alright... And da 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 da. Mm, blow. Let's put a point into that. One point into that. Let's put some points into that. Just kind of going all over the place, really. 
at the moment, so that'll give us a 52 or less mob. The mobs we're going to go fight are uh, 60, 65, 67, so uh, that's going to be no use to us. Let's do ambi, ambidexter, ambidexterity, uh, weapon affinity. Let's do that. She does have a proccing weapon. Let's do physical enhancement. Let's do a rank of mental clarity. Really, the choices are not that, uh, not that great on a bard. Let's do a few ranks of uh, these. Let's get some more buff slots. And natural to our belly. There we go. I should knock that out. All right. And that should be perfect. Let's go over here. Talk to the portal guy. We're gonna go to Paw. Um, that is where I've decided to go. I burned my lesson there yesterday, and it was a fantastic, very fantastic zone. Uh, I'm hoping to get close to 65 today, but uh, the weather might not work in our favor. Where, where are you at? There we go. North Corona. North Corona. And North Corona. Perfect. So yeah. Um it, it pause a good place. Um I know I put in the notes to uh do you know do like exp uh, the expansions by uh by level and stuff, but uh we are uh sixty plus, right? So that's like planes of power. And uh the revamp to paw is planes of power, so we're gonna do that. Oh, got a, got a situation here. This guard did not like his life. There we go. All right, all that is absolute junk. All right, let's get everybody on follow. Get her singing. Hey, Kren, how you doing? How you doing this evening? Kill it. We kill everything. We are uh, spreading the <laughs> spreading the uh, word of Thul. We have to uh, make sure they understand Thul will not be trifled with. Come on. Uh, but uh, so it should be uh, as long as there's no one else there. That was the only situation I ran into is uh, if other people show up in paw, it becomes uh, less ideal. Uh, I don't know if I got it on everybody. I think one of these got it. Uh, the current hot zone, I guess it is on a different... Uh, different character but the current hot zone is uh bastion of thunder for 65 plus so if paw is uh occupied uh we'll go back to plane of knowledge and do that uh i don't see quill i see a red <laughs> a red knoll though jeez keep i'll keep an eye on it as we run through I found uh, the guild hall teleport to North Karana slightly more enjoyable than the run across Lake Wrath. Uh, the uh, whole swimming thing is really annoying. And so is levitation. Double levitation. There we go. Uh, no, I have not read uh, read the thing on Quillmain. What is the uh, too long didn't read? Oh, how to get it to spawn? Yeah, you kill the uh, 
kill the the elephant calves and the lionesses and it'll spawn eventually on uh the emulated server they they marked the spawn points there's one right here one right here and another one right here and you can kind of see where it uh where it always spawns you can like put, literally put three characters in the zone and pretty much pretty pretty much always get it if you uh Put the characters in the right spot. He <laughs> made this swim at least a hundred times in my dear dark elf getting <laughs> PK'd in uh, South Carolina. Oh, uh, where is it? Right here. These brave little dogs. So the shaman has the healer, so I'm not too concerned about that. There we go. All right, what are we looking at here? We are five in here. There are some other people here, so we'll have to see where they're at. But there are 67, so they should be on the, the top end of the level range here. All right, let's move up right here. Uh, let's put these perks back on. And I need to rebuff this one. Hey, Eben, how are you doing today? How are you doing? And let's go ahead and re-leopard. Or, yeah, this one's leopard now. Should be good, and I'm going to switch to two hand now that we have uh, improved bash. Should be good to go. There we go. And it helps if I uh, set the uh, sound to uh, <laughs> the speakers. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> the trains were so bad in Classic that I, I I never really spent time here. It was just horrendous. All right, let's get this guy. And looking good. And we don't have any damage shields, I don't believe, at the moment. We just have... Pretty much self buffs. I don't see anything outside of us. Well, someone, I guess, hasted us, but uh, it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, let's get him slowed. And dotted, I guess he's not going to come over here. And we're going to put all the loot to her. And while I might as well, before I forget, go ahead and turn on my lesson. There we go. So lesson on you. Lesson on you. And then Steadfast. Steadfast is great for the extra healing. And then Infusion of the Faithful just maxes out our stats, so... It's better. There we go. and get him uh, baned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, South, South Karana was uh, a fairly awesome zone back in uh, 
classic days. And I don't know if I said it earlier, but uh, we are 61 now. Uh, between last stream and now, I did uh, I did do uh, some gold farming in uh, Ocean of Tears, and I burned my lesson here uh, to kind of test the waters at level 60 to see how it would be. And it we, we didn't have any problems with these reds. I thought we would, but uh, it is uh, actually fairly easy compared <laughs> to, to some things. There we go. He is not dotting. Why is he not dotting? She's not singing. Why is she not singing? Hey, no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, the trio is going great. I am actually enjoying this significantly. <laughs> uh, like, I, I don't want to stop playing it, in all honesty. Uh, it is just phenomenally fun for uh, this. I'm, I'm thinking maybe like when I get closer to higher level, I might add a uh, a, a fourth, but uh, I have not decided. Thank you very much. Go. Yeah, so I had uh, I, I did the rock ones. I think uh, for I think it was the last last stream they were rocks, and uh, when I went back to uh, Howling Stone to grind uh, some platinum and stuff there, I uh, realized that I couldn't see anything, <laughs> and then I was look I was walking through Plane of Knowledge and I saw. That these guys were were available in all classes, and they're kind of like the original frog locks, I guess. And so uh, it just made sense to just switch to these guys for now. <laughs> oh, there's another one over here. Let's get him slowed, snared. I don't think I did voice. Let me fix that. There we go. Perfect. All right, he is taking care of these. Are, these ones right here, these uh, wave crashers, are the worst ones in the zone. Ah, uh, they do heal. And uh, I don't really have the ability to handle <laughs> handle healing that well, so not a whole lot of stuns like the uh, like the the monk had the the round kick I think it was stun when we came here, and then uh, the paladin you know they're like all stuns. Hey Parg, how's it going? Uh, I hit 56 AA so far. Uh, I just I, I spent all those on stream just a little while ago. Uh, kind of did like a mixed bag all around kind of thing, just to pick up some things. I got improved uh, the bash where you can bash with a two-hander and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, the froglock cleric looks really cool. This is gonna take a little while because the the healing on this guy. There we go. He's gonna get dotted up again, and I am missing shroud. There it is. So it's just a matter of uh, beating this thing down and running it out of mana. 
Oh yeah, those were those wy wyverns are uh, quite a handful in uh, Cobalt Scar. Go. <laughs> yeah, forty k. That's uh, sounds about right for uh, for that expansion. I, uh, I did a video on my Necromancer, and I was in the new Vexthal, and I was kind of like running through some mobs. And I guess my invisibility broke, or something saw me, and they uh, they hit me for 60k, like instantaneously. It was pretty crazy. Uh, like, like a quad for 60k. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty bad. It's like instantly dead. But, uh... Necromancers only have like, uh, well, mine only has like 350,000 hit points right now. Yeah, this is, that's, that's good stats too. Uh, you have 480k hit points and 10,000 AC. That is insane. And they still hit pretty hard. Did you have a mercenary up or anything like that? The, uh, the level. 120 mercenaries shouldn't be able to keep you alive. There we go, and another one dead. Go ahead and slow him, terror him. Oh, yeah. Your mercs a slack. Oh, that's funny. There we go. Good, and disease, since he didn't slow it when I told him to. <laughs> He's got a name, too. That's hilarious. Oh. Uh. There's a, there's a zone crin, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's one of those. It might be from Ring of Scale, not the Empires of Kunark one, but it's, uh, it's off of, uh, Skyfire, I think. And that, that zone is pretty cool. Oh, man. Just can't remember the name of it at the moment. Uh, Gorowin. Yeah, that one right there is uh is a nice zone the new howling stones and sithir's tomb are also uh fantastic zones oh look at that we're getting destroyed here oh we are actually getting destroyed healer is out of mana There we go. There we go. We hit 62. This is crazy. I'm uh, chain healing with the shaman. I didn't even realize the uh, mercenary ran out of mana. It's got like a complete heal thing going on, so that's going to take a little bit of time. All right, let's... Uh, Let's fall back over here real quick. <laughs> Meta up, jeez. There we go. Yeah, the experience goes pretty quick here. Uh, my goal is to get 70, and then we're going to go to 90% AA until we uh, knock a bunch of these out. Uh, I want to go to... There's an expansion we have... I haven't done anything in... Um, it's like Depths of Dark Hollow. Um, where is it? It's like off of... Uh, not off of that one. Um, North Central? No, that's where we were. Northeast. Um, Corn.
Victoria's Keep. Yeah, this this expansion here. I want to go through and uh, do some stuff in this one. Uh, Fearless is... Uh, I think it's Archetype, right? Fear Resistance. It is uh, 55. I think it goes up to 65. Was the uh, the immunity one. I wanted to, uh, when I, when I get 65 or, uh, 70, I want to go kill, uh, Nagafin, uh, Vox, uh, Talandor, uh, Gore, and, so, uh, Sev, Severius, or whatever his name is. Hey, evil imp, how are you doing? There we go. He's got mana now. I, I need to pay a little bit of attention to that. Uh, I guess he was chain healing us at some point. Oh. Looks like our shaman friend did not make it. Come back in here. Let's get a slow. Let's get that. Well, nice to have you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And, uh, all the commands and all the, uh, all the videos and stuff are up there, so. Kind of the gist of everything <laughs> in all those. And, uh, these will, these, these will eventually make it to YouTube, probably in April, when I, uh, have a chance to, uh, get them edited down. I realize I'm not going to be able to post a six hour, seven hour video. And have it make uh, any sense. That's the way we came. Alright, so there's a roamer like right around this corner. Nice, so one grouped Talandor on Aradun with the SK Shaman, Cleric, Monk, and someone's Bard Warrior. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to cast spells on these things, uh, so we get a lot of resists. <laughs> Alright, are you guys are you guys actually following? She is, you're not. There you go. Now so right over here there's a room with two or three in it. We are going to let me actually park you right here. And park you right next to him. So right here we might be able to solo I I've gotten some weird solo pulls from this stuff. Like that one. <laughs> no idea how I got that one solo, but whatever. Uh, the Shadow Knight is using the Bloody Berserker Blade. Uh, Rune 3. I'm not sure where it comes from. I didn't look that up. Uh, someone had sent it to me. And, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Saru is where it comes from, I guess. I have, uh, at 65, I have a bunch of different stuff I can put on. Uh, that I've, I've sorted through. Let's grab this Blaze Master. Kind of get him around the corner here. He's got a friend coming, so we're going to have to... them somehow or those mercs will die all right slow yeah we're in infected paw the uh, planes of power revamp version that goes up to about 70.
Oh, nice, Wallace. That's awesome. Hey, sickness72155. Your uh, withdrawal, <laughs> having withdrawals from EverQuest. I can, I can definitely t feel that, uh, that pain. There we go. Uh, you bought a new computer. Isn't he wasn't liking it that much? Been playing Guild Wars 2 until I figure it out. What kind of, what kind of issue are you having with it? Uh, they just updated to a 64-bit uh, client, so. That but if you're playing Guild Wars 2, you should be, you should be fine with whatever uh, system requirements. Oh, we got an Earth Elemental somewhere. Got him. Hey, Cast Big, how's it going? Um, you can, you can get, so you can get pretty far, right? Uh, if you're if you, you know, boost a character uh, with uh, a heroic boost, a mage is going to get pretty far. The only downside to a mage is going to be the ability to solo pull stuff. Um, you could... I would recommend a duo and then take two mercs, right? A healer merc plus uh, some kind of DPS merc. Uh, that would be my recommendation. That is a nice bracer. Uh, I'm gonna take that. And, uh... Yeah, the heroic boost does, you know, it makes a lot of sense. Especially if you've already done, like, a lot of the other stuff. Like, I would say if you haven't... If you've never played EverQuest before, I would not recommend a heroic boost. But if you've, you've already done a lot of the, the lower level stuff, I would say definitely it's worth it. Yeah, and 15k is is a uh, small amount of money, I would say. Um, that's the wrong character. Just wondering why. Let's grab the healer before we get a roamer coming through here. Oh, you stupid rogues! You stupid, stupid rogues! Um, I would say slow is not as important. It helps, right? But a lot of the mobs, they'll partially resist. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can, if I can get it to happen on him right now. See how it says your spell was mostly successful. So you, there's a, there's a cap now on, uh, how much you can you can slow mobs and uh it depends i think it depends on the mob too so you're not you know it's not a big it's not a big deal like i have a beast lord that i've been soloing and uh step through he has a slow it helps i have a monk that i soloed through uh, the house of thule the same 85 stuff right and she didn't have any problems and she had horrible gear for the most part uh it's just a matter of getting a single mob versus having uh, a lot of mobs on you. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. It's weird. It loads fine the first time I install it. I try to adjust the game. Just black screens every time I open it. Just black screens. It's a high end computer. Hmm. Hey, good, good afternoon or good evening. Uh, G, how are you? Is it, uh, yeah, is it Windows 11? I guess that is, uh, I guess there's a compatibility issue with Windows 11. Well, you so I, I would say go, uh, if you can, if you can pick, right? Um, I would do Mage and maybe like an Enchanter. Um, or a Bard. Just so you get like the mana regen and you get, uh, the ability to crowd control. Or another way you could go is another pet class, like a necromancer or a 
Peace, Lord. Let's see. Stasis, my, hun uh, my son and I will be rolling at Gnome, a Necro, and Mage Duo, and a Box Gnome Enchanter. I think that that would be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good trio. In fact, <laughs> on uh, the Gnome Regards journey in, uh, I think it's a few days it'll air, I actually start using my 120 Mage and my 120 Bard and my 120 Druid with him to make uh, TOL content go faster. And uh, having the ma Mage tank while the Necromancer does all the damage for the most part is like a phenomenal uh, workflow for me. Like, uh, it is just crazy how uh, how well the mage pet tanks, first of all, and how well, uh, once I don't have to worry about the pet on the Necromancer, I can just open up and do a tons of damage. So, you, you the, the, the Beast Lord is a lot of melee, uh, for sure. I'm not per sure what the percentage is, damage-wise, but... Uh, they have a lot of nukes they do also and they have uh dots so you could probably get away with uh doing less uh less melee if you wanted to for a little less dps but they bring a lot of utility <laughs> yeah the gnome regards journey all right let's see here Come on. Come on, cast. Really? Resisting uh, on a yellow. That's fun. Oh, another healer. I hate these things. All right, sit. Hopefully that makes that thing run to us. There we go. The, the Warven, right? Or, uh... Or are you talking about something else? There walls. There we go. But, uh, Cass, on my... I, my, I play the Beast Lord as the main character for him. And so the melee kind of works in, in that regard. But if you have the mage pet... A mage pet tanking, right? The, uh, the, um, the pet will not, you don't, you, you won't, you'll, you won't get hit, is what I'm saying. Jeez, I'm like stumbling over my words here. You won't get hit, so you can be able to melee without any issue, because he will tank it. As long as you mark the, uh, mage, the tank in the group, and set the pet to taunt. Um, so I think a boost right now, like, uh, services, I don't even know how much they are. Um, a heroic character, yeah, is 35. I think that translates directly to dollars unless you buy the higher tier. Uh, on true box servers, you have to use multiple computers on, uh, on, uh, normal live servers. You can do everything on one computer. And I would probably recommend against boxing on a true box server because you probably get, you probably get reported by people who don't like boxers more often than not. Even if you're you're doing everything by the book. 
just the the way the game is and sometimes yeah uh and you can also there's also uh merc uh oh jeez there's also merc tanks but they're not i don't think they're as, as good after uh, a certain point See if I can get slow on this guy. Nope, not getting slow. There we go. I am not getting any slows off at all. Alright. Where did that guy come from? Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Another wave crasher. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too hard, right? I use I use IS Boxer for the window management, so I can click. So it does like it makes the window windowed full screen, so I can click in between windows without having the. You know how like when you have a full screen application, it minimizes it down to the taskbar and stuff like that. And then that also lets me do uh, key repetition to the other windows. Uh, but it doesn't take too long to uh, to learn. I have a, a video series on uh, on actually getting started with it. It's you know it's a pretty slow series going through every every little step and stuff like that. Uh, that is very uh, very detailed, I guess, for uh, getting getting started with this. Hey, JMASLC, how are you doing today? There we go. Oh my god, he's healing. Alright. Slowly gonna get him, I guess. What do we at here? Oh, nice. And 63. Let's keep going. Uh, I think we're going to go this way. Is there anybody still in the zone? There's nine people here now. There's, there's people. <laughs> there's people on this server. What? A server with people that aren't level, uh, only one level 120? It's unheard of. All right. Pet in. Let's go with. Uh... Ah, that is just getting resisted constantly here. Let me. Uh... I'm gonna switch him to nuking. I have a macro <laughs> set up for each nuking and uh, and uh, dots for this guy. And uh, bane and knife is just getting constantly resisted. All right, Stone of Lights, and that over there. Uh, I think this one should have something in it. Hmm. That's too far. I think we're going to need to move up here momentarily. Yeah, this is uh, Infected Paw. It is, uh, if you if you played in Classic EverQuest, uh, this zone used to be full of these gnolls that you see dead everywhere. But around Planes of Power, uh, they revamped it to have an elemental invasion in the zone. So it's a little bit different. Let's move her a little bit closer here. Go. Let's go ahead and 
snare him. Oh, totally resisting everything. I think it's this door, right? Yeah, this is where we want this guy right here. That turn. All right, nothing gonna land on him. Yeah, it, I mean, it still slows them more than uh, nothing, right? <laughs> so if a mob's hitting you really, really hard, really fast, it'll slow it down a little bit. Oh, okay. So if it slows at 50%, you get a partial slow, which goes to 20%. All right. Nice. Well, that's good information. respawning so that means this room is gonna repop here very shortly yeah this guy here is up uh, that's a painful angle <laughs> did that mop just jump off the ledge? Uh, oh, there he is. There we go. That's perfect. He's snared. He's good. I lost the shroud. And I probably lost the voice too. All right. I don't want to pull until I kill these two here. Let's med for a second. So that one there is going to be. Uh, the, the trigger for these two over here, right? So it looks like actually at the same time our uh, our uh, lesson wore off. So I'm going to go ahead and drink a experience potion. That'll last for four hours. Hey, Novix. Oh, yeah, you didn't miss much. Uh, I, in between streams, I got to 61, uh, I got like 56 AAs, and uh, I spent those AAs in the first 30 minutes, I guess, and then uh, we are 63 now, so didn't miss too much. Probably going to be at 64 here f shortly. Oh, that's insta-cast, I just realized that. Really? That is so awesome. Instant cast. I can cast that while running. Perfect. Go ahead and slow. And then that hat is up over there. We'll grab him in just a second. Why are you not doing your job? Why are you not doing your job? You're not even singing songs, you silly bard. There we go, and slowed. Go. 
go. Alright, there should be two mobs that pop in here in just a second. Yeah, this is Feronavi. It's probably my new favorite server. <laughs> it is, uh... I don't know. Like on, uh... Like on Bristlebane, right? I, if I buy some Defiant armor for a character, right? It's like almost wasted. Uh, but here, I can just like resell that armor or give it to another character and then that is just such a phenomenal way to play that for for a person like me who plays lots and lots of characters, right? That's just such a cool way to do it. Yeah, I'll group with anybody that's within five levels. I don't want to go too high because I don't want to get power leveled, right? Uh, though, we did get severely twinked by uh, people sending stuff, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll drop any of the mercs, uh, or if we need to, I'll drop the actual other guys too, for people to join if they want to join. Slow. Did you message me the other day, Wallace? I thought I saw a guy named Wallace message me, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if it was you. And I don't think we could talk. We could talk due to the language issue. <laughs> I tried messaging you on my uh, bard. Uh, she has Elvish. Uh, they all have all the characters have a hundred percent Elvish now. I I was working on their uh, their spell casting to get that up. So I wouldn't fizzle feign death like a million times in a row when we come to uh, that. There we go. Nice. Monks are fantastic classes. There we go. Got him. Okay, let's go ahead and get a snare on him. Nope, gonna work. Alright, I guess she doesn't want that. I guess you're just hanging out there. You don't want to fight, I understand. See what I'm doing to everybody else here. Go. I already got him snared. Let's see if we can get. Oh, wait, you're doing. Why aren't you casting that? There you go. There we go. I'm using uh, the poison nuke on the uh, shaman instead of a dot since things are dying a little bit faster than I anticipated. Yeah, there's a bunch of named. We are uh, not near them. <laughs> so I'm kind of like still by the, the zone in. Uh, I might move down here in a minute. I want to get a little bit higher level because the, there's a certain point in the zone where the mobs go from uh, 65 to like 68 or 69. And they're they're noticeably harder. Yeah, so we're uh, like, where's the zone in? I don't even see it marked on this map. I think it's like right around here, maybe. So we just need to go down. Uh, I've killed, I killed every single named, I think in this zone, except like one or two with my monk solo. So they're not, it's not a terribly difficult zone. Uh, yeah, the, the loot is actually pretty good if you're in the, uh, like the level range. It's like planes of power loot, so. There is uh there's a bunch of people here right now, so. I don't think I'll I think most of the camps down there are probably taken. They're all higher level. Yeah, there's a group right here killing everything.
Nice. Nice, level 20. Uh, let's see here. Let's check up this way. Nope, nothing there yet. Where is this? Where, where, where am I? I'm way over here. Jeez. Oh, that's the that's a way to the zone in. Okay. All right, zone in's down here. So the names are all over here on this side. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep looking around. I might have to find a better zone with more mobs. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Slow him. Come on. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, Car we out leveled Carnar's castle way too fast. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't even think we, we left. How we were able to leave Howling Stone before we left out leveled that. I'll make sure in my uh, in my one of my next playthroughs, I'll I'll hit Karnar's castle instead of Howling Stone. Uh you could go to Howling Stone. You could go to Karnar's castle. Uh, Plane of Innovation. Yeah, these are all good places. You guys are named. Ah. Uh, isn't isn't uh, Kazakh Thul um, like level sixty right now, sixty five? Kind of like how this zone is. Could have swore it was a higher level. There we go. Kazakh's a fun zone if you if you go up just a few levels, I think. I can't remember the exact range, because it has I think it has planes of power uh, revamping also. Yeah, let's see here. That's good. Let's get some damage on that work. You're just like staring at a wall, bard. Come on. I spent all day letting you just sit there singing songs so you can actually cast. Hole, hole is really good. Uh, I think you can get to 65 in hole uh, if you go through the city. I think 65 will be kind of where you top out on that. I went there with uh, I think my paladin to try it out at 67 and everything was just a little low. Looks like someone's here too. Oh man, we are like in a pickle. We're in a pickle. Let's uh let's go deeper. Alright, follow me. Let's go. Uh we're going to go. Let's go this way. We'll try to run. We can go past this group that's here. If they're still around. <laughs> it's all short people. <laughs> all right. Uh, where are they? They're right there. Why is that? 
That's not good. I think those are his mobs. All right. Uh, let's see what he's camping. Let's see if he'll tell us. That's hilarious. It's all shore people. the name on one of these guys can't even click on him there he is cash box <laughs> there we go uh, let's see where I uh, wouldn't mind going down here to this little area right here. This is a nice area, but we will run out of mobs really quick. All right, maybe he's not the real one. Cash tank. She camping. Someone answered. Oh, okay. Spot. All right. So he is doing his thing. I am going to see that is that. Let's kind of look around here. That's the boss room. That's the final boss room. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to go. I think we took a wrong turn. We need to make this turn right here and go that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The... Why is that guy just like walking around? Okay. Well. That was a weird mob. Oh, I don't know what he said. Can I see it in this chat? Nope. What was that? There we go. <laughs> I totally closed that window. All right, let's just leave that right there. There we go. There we go, perfect. Let's keep going. Yeah, Berserkers uh, do a lot of damage. Um, it's pretty crazy. Just hard to, uh, hard to multi-box one. Uh, I guess I could have it on auto follow and stuff like that, so I, I typically stay away from the uh, any kind of uh, melee class. It's just too much extra work. Yeah, I I have I have one at uh one twenty on Bristlebane. Go. Let's go ahead and slow this one. Nope. I'm stunned. I need this one on me. Oh, third one? Oh, man. Can we get a slow? Luckily, the uh, mercenary healer is uh, insanely strong. There we go. Uh, where 
is this guy? Get this one. Now we should probably tag that guy. Alright, where is this one? Alright, let's kill this one right here. I see here, funny bunny. Had a five max levels on Lucklin Strom seven years back. Uh, I, it's probably still going. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that one's dead or not. Uh, but compared to Ferona Vi, everything seems dead to me now. Uh, the craziness of uh, how many people I'm seeing in the game that aren't uh, completely AFK has been uh, crazy. Box six warriors. Dipped your toe into boxing this weekend. Barred on follow of my mage and a friend. It's necro plus two melee mercs. Hit 46 in two days. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we got another one. roaming oh um yeah I, I don't think uh, I don't think Lucklin Strom is dead it could could still be uh, I think one of the larger raid guild is raid guilds is on that server so you might uh, might be good there if there's something like that. Who is getting beaten down over there? Alright, let's get this guy. For some reason she always drops that, gets slow. Get, uh... It's some healing on me. There we go. Okay, yeah, Township Rebellion's the guild I was talking about. Is it it's still around? There we go. Uh, I died on the uh, Shadow Knight in... Uh, Sibilis when I was pulling. I got stunned and lost in the cave and I had too many jugs on me. It was a uh, very sad, very sad time. Oh my gosh, really? Each course. Ah, uh, see here. Fine, try to mez something, please. I don't think she can mez anything yet. All right, let's go Ikar guard. Come on. Oh, leech course is still up. Yeah, this looks like we may have five of them. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a absolute disaster. Oh man. Well, we get what we can. If we die, we'll go somewhere else. Let's see, uh, zero? Can you mess anything? Anything at all, Bard. Much would be appreciated. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pull these. Yeah, Cleric Merc is down. I'm about to die myself. Let's just evade out of here. <laughs> All right. I'll uh get this guy rezzed real quick. 
No, it's just that part of the uh, the zone is pretty crazy uh, when it comes to uh, ads. All right, uh, let's go there. All right, uh, sorry, tackle systems. Hey, Hammock J, I made three tunes on Front of I last night. Followed your IS Boxer to videos and got them working. Takes a full time job to get everything set up. Thanks for all the info you provide. Yeah, once you uh, once you get it going, uh, it should be easy to maintain, right? Um, shouldn't have to worry too much about that. All right, they're all over there. Let's get uh, rebuffed. Uh, expedient recovery. Let's just fix that. Like we didn't even die. Um. Novix, you can probably use the Mercs all the way. Like, I use the Mercs at 120 with my Necromancer. Uh, I use healing Mercs on the uh, on a Mage and a Necro. And the Caster Merc is totally useless. Uh, me just hitting random keys on my keyboard, my Druid does more damage than, uh, than uh, the... Uh, uh, Caster Merc, so... With that said, I, <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, bother with, uh, I wouldn't bother with a caster merc, but the melee mercs are pretty good until, uh, probably the end. I, I don't, I don't think I've used them at all, so I'm not 100% sure. Because most of my groups are, have all been, uh, Six box, right? Let's see here. Having max level ranger, necro, ma necro mage, three healer mercs, or two wizard mercs, one healer merc can basically down. Yeah, you're right, uh, funny bunny. The That is a uh, pretty strong combo. Yeah, I don't. There's a, so there's a video, uh, 12 strings. He's a YouTuber. He uses a, um, he uses a, with his rogue, a tank merc, and he's able to kill things, <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I have not had the same success with my tank mercs. I tried one, uh, with my mage necro combo. I used a, used a, uh, tanking merc instead of a uh, caster merc to see if it would tank and it just got destroyed like almost instantly by uh by uh stuff in umbral planes so it was not even worth it to use there we go all right so now that we died there, let's go try out the daily hot zone, whatever that is real quick. I could use the focus item, whatever that is. Yeah, I found, uh, well, I found having one is really, really non-optimal. You have to block like the group heal. You have to block the promise heal, uh, but two of them can keep like anything alive uh from what i when i've my testing so far but that means you have to do to do a duo so slightly different but uh two healer mercs can keep like almost anything anything alive that's within range what's the level 60 zone burn do 